evening gas! Fire! Ladies and gentlemen, that in a few minutes time at 4 o'clock on the dot we are going to fire one of these eight cannons in this open-air museum of artillery called Saluting Battery. Monday to Saturday we come to this place, ladies and gentlemen, and we fire one of these eight cannons at 12 and also 4 o'clock. We fire the cannons, ladies and gentlemen, to keep alive a time-keeping tradition that has been going on during the last four centuries. Historically, ladies and gentlemen, the soldiers used to fire cannons like these ones for ceremonial, religious and saluting purposes. Additionally, to announce the passage of the day, the time for prayer, the time for lunch, this was the main signal to open and close the big gates of Aleta to the visitors and the soldiers, by firing the cannons, used to help or assist the ships in this big harbor with the calibration of their navigation instruments chronographs, on board, clothes, etc. for a safe trip. So this is a recreation of how it was done in the past. You can Ladies and gentlemen, from Tatsio 1566, given its unique vantage point, its guns could easily protect the full length and breadth of the Grand Harbor against a sudden attack. As its name clearly implies, this battery also had a ceremonial role, where gun salutes would be given to visiting ship. After that time, its history gradually faded away, till 2004, when the battery was restored back to its former glory by Fondazione Worth Partner, the Malta Heritage Trust, with the assistance of the Malta Tourism Authority and the Bank of Valletta. Since then, its guns have unfailingly heralded the passage of midday on a daily basis, as you will witness today. Please note that immediately after the firing of the noon gun, you can visit this country and see its fantastic collection of historic cannon, spanning two centuries. The entrance is via the steps at the back of the balcony, or the side entrance in Battery Street, when this is open.
ladies and gentlemen.